Right, we're looking for a basketball hoop that I bought Stuart in 2005 for Christmas time and I can't uh, I can't see it amongst all this crap there's a few bits and bobs that I want to have out of here though while I'm here oh look there's my old uh, the very first beer tap that I ever made can you imagine that I'll tell you what I'm going to take though this lathe We've got a lathe here. We're having that. Uh, it's been a while since I've been up there. I'm in the old Queen's attic. That's the uh, solar panels PV panel there. Putting it back into the grid. But what I've come up for, amongst all this junk, oh look a wig, is uh, that basketball hoop. I'm going to put that to good use, I think. Speakers. Oh, yeah, I didn't know half of this stuff was up here. Yeah, it's junk, though, most of it. There's a hi-fi system there, look. Predator gun. Right, I'm getting down. Well, there she is. She ain't the greatest. But I think you can see where I'm going with this. Right, we've got it in the boot. As well as Chance. Are you there, boy? He's not talking to me because he just got bossed by a cat. <laughs> hey up. Yeah, he chased a cat and it smacked him round his chops and he come running back. Silly chance. Right, work time. Right, so here's the setup. I know it's not particularly brewing related, but when you're working so hard, and I am, Stuart is, Gemma is, we're all working quite hard, you've got to have a little bit of downtime or inject a little bit of fun into your day. Now this ain't going to be so important for Gemma, but Stuart is a baller, believe it or not. Yeah, I know he's carrying a bit of weight, but he does like to play a lot of basketball. <laughs> He'll watch this as well. So, in 2005, I bought him a basketball hoop for the back garden, where we were still pretty young back then, and uh, we had nowhere to put it up. It was a pointless purchase. I got it for Christmas for him. Nowhere to put it up. So it's been in the attic that I've just been in for... Well, ever since. We're well, talking 13 years. So I've been and fetched it. Now, I mean, I'm not talking NBA hoop quality, but as far as it goes for sticking up in the unit, I think it will work just fine. So the plan is to put it up on that wall at the correct height so it can just come in here and prat around for half an hour and shoot some hoops. The trouble is, what's the right height? And how do I make it secure so I don't smash things up when he's uh, well, invariably misses the net? So the plan is to put it up there, move this bit of wood, I can probably move all that timber off there, and uh, clear underneath. So of course if he's shooting and running towards it, he can just go straight under here. And uh, he's not going to run into a wall or anything. This shelving can be moved at some point or uh, whatever's on it changed but I think it'll be pretty neat. Before I get started with the basketball hoop, which is a bit of procrastination to be honest, uh, the reason I'm not doing the lids for the fermenters is because Stuart was meant to be bringing me the Gorilla Glue and uh, I don't know if he's bought any or not and I've not seen him this morning. So, what I'm gonna do is a good friend of mine who drinks in the pub, Steve, he's brought me this piece of oak oak worktop and uh, he's asked if I could kindly cut him two pieces of that shape because he's just had his kitchen done. I think he said two pieces, he might just want one but I'll cut him two anyway. So I've managed to draw onto this piece of timber and we're just going to chuck it up on the bandsaw which this is a bit meaty for the bandsaw but I think I think it'll cope with it and we're going to go ahead and cut these for him first.
a little bit on the dusty side now. Got the shelving finished. Quite happy with that. I think it looks pretty snazzy. Took it down to a 120 grit, like a baby's butt. And then Chance wants to play a bit of football. I'm meant to be doing basketball, Chancey boy. Not football. Ready. <laughs> Good boy. Just got to wait for the dust to settle, but we got a dump. Oh, the first one it didn't go in. Is that a bad omen? We'll see what Stu thinks. It's high enough though, isn't it? I've not tried spunking it. Or dunking it. Mm. You need to throw that there to dunk it. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This one for the cutting block. Are they all bouncy like that or the solid mate? Um, yeah, this is the, the, normally the spring release are a bit thicker, and when you jam them, they will spring really them. Yeah. It looks bouncy to me, that. I want it to be like fucking solid. Yeah, it is bouncy. Yeah, I'm going to wear that shelf actually. Right, that's enough prattling around, I think, uh, with basketball hoops and ping. Stuart's brought me the Gorilla Glue. We're going to give this stuff a whirl. So I'm going to apply it to the one that we've already made and uh, see if it's good enough to, well, stick. How long does it take to dry? I'll have to have a quick read up on the destructions. And uh, I'm going to pile a load of weight on top of it as well to help it cure properly and flat. So let's give it a whirl, boys. Let's give it a whirl. Gorilla Glue. This is not a paid endorsement. Okay, I've spread the Gorilla Glue on the timber and we've got the stainless steel lid sat on the floor. So I'm about to soak it with water because apparently it's activated by water. And we'll spread it around so all the lid is wet. So I'm not sure how much water it wants, but I'm guessing if there's too much, it'll just squeeze out the sides. And if there's not enough, it won't activate the glue. I've also cleaned the lid with some solvent to get rid of any uh, stray particles on there, any oil or grease, anything like that. Right. I think that's pretty wet, so all I have to do now is line up the marks so we have it in the correct orientation, which is that there and that there, and then a little bit of a feel to make sure that we're nicely centred. That feels really quite good. Maybe a little nudge that way. Yeah. A little nudge that way. And then uh, pile some weight on. Right then, Chance. I can't be accused of not putting enough weight on. There's approximately 350 kilograms on that lid now. It's on the floor, which is flat. It's been swept, it's on also a dust sheet to prevent scratches on the inside of the lid. <sighs> I'm 
tired for lumping them about, but I think there's enough weight in that. And now for the rest of the day, I'm going to be tidying the edges up on these lids and then cutting out some more plywood donuts in order to do the same thing three more times. Well, that's it. All the circles cut. You're out of a chance. Smoker's cough. And, uh, yeah, I want to see a look. I think I've just got the half section lids to do for the uh, top of the boil kettle. That's it. Off to pick up Gemma. He don't like it. Just stopped out the White Lion, which is opposite where Gemma works. Just waiting to pick her up now. She needs a uh, lift homewards, bless her. So yeah, we'll just pass quarter past three. I still haven't put my clock forward for springtime. I don't know how to do it. Might have a go while I'm here. Options, diagnosis, options, diagnosis, options. Oh, I don't know. Oh, too late, she's here. Too late. I'm trying to change the clock, I can't figure it out. Just leave it until the clock's cold. Yeah, until autumn. Yeah. Okay. Just leave it. Well, we've just been uh, playing around on the phone with the bank to get Gemma's account sorted today, linked up with the business account. They are totally useless. And uh, it's now got to quarter to six. So. I think we're going to go into town, get something for tea tonight, I really fancy an Indian curry, uh, and probably just sign off for the Friday vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow. Don't know what we're doing yet, it's going to be another one of those mystery days I think. We'll see you then.